Yana Wan lived in Arctic East Siberia in the Sahara Republic and belonged to a now extinct human group known as the ancient North Eurasians. Its remains were found at a latitude of 70 degrees north, which is around 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. In the summer, the sun does not set here and in December, the sun does not rise above the horizon. The human remains of Yana 1 have been dated to 30 millennia before the Common Era, making it the earliest ancient North Eurasian genome, followed by Malta Boy and lastly by Afontavagara 3, which is the most modern ancient North Eurasian sample. Yana 1 was male and carried Y lineage P, and his mitochondrial lineage was U2. He was roughly 70% West Eurasian, descending from Gravetians and 30% East Eurasian. For this video, I gathered Yana 1's raw genome in FASTQ format on European Nucleotide Archive, mapped it and converted it to microarray sequence format, then I ran the resulting microarray sequence format file through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis, which you can purchase from the link that's in the description of the video. You can also purchase Yana once processed file in microarray sequence format combined kit from the link which is in the description of the video as well. Here is the predicted phenotype for Yana 1. The predicted eye color for Yana 1 is very decisively dark brown with minimal odds of either eye colors. The predicted hair color for Yana 1 is very decisively black with minimal odds of other hair colors. The predicted skin color for Yana 1 is very decisively light brown, with minimal odds of other skin colors. The most likely hair texture for Yana 1 is curly, followed by wavy and straight hair. Kinky hair is very unlikely for this individual. The most likely nose shape for Yana 1 is snub, at 61% likelihood odds. Yana 1 carried 2 out of 6 Asian alleles in EDAR, as well as a genotype in PAX3 leading to protruding nasal bridge and 2 genotypes leading to thicker eyebrows. Regarding the Warrior vs Warrior trait, Yana 1 is predicted to be a Warrior on the basis of his Compt, MAOA and MAOB genotypes. This means Yana 1 is predisposed to lower dopamine levels, higher rate of dopamine reuptake, and higher resilience to stress. Regarding D2 receptor site availability, Yana 1 is predicted to have less D2 receptor sites and has A1A1 genotype in DRD2 stock 1 variation, leading to higher odds of ADHD and decreased D2 receptor site availability. Overall, this predisposes Yana 1 to lower odds of bipolar 1 and schizophrenia, higher odds of ADHD, and higher propensity to no go learning. Yana 1 scored high for odds of ADHD, very low for odds of unipolar depression, average for odds of bipolar 1 and schizophrenia, Yana 1 scored slightly above average for Tourette's risk, and average for odds of autism. Yana 1 did not carry any European variants for lactase persistence, but he did carry a global variant for lactase persistence in LCT. Yana 1 had an average predisposition to empathy on the basis of OXTR genotypes. Yana 1 had typical odds of autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. Yana 1 had lower odds of multiple sclerosis and did not carry any HLA DRB1 risk variants for it. He also had lower odds of type 1 diabetes, vitiligo, asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, and average odds of lupus showing a predisposition to lower or average odds of various autoimmune conditions. Yana 1 had elevated odds of allergies and didn't carry any risk variants for any rare conditions. Yana 1 didn't carry any JAK2 risk variants for polycythemia vera, had reduced odds of testicular cancer on the basis of Kittle G genotypes, had reduced odds of thyroid cancer, had average odds of glioma and very high odds of prostate cancer and epithelial cancers overall. Yana 1 had high odds of Alzheimer's disease, male pattern hair loss, myopia, primary biliary cirrhosis, type 2 diabetes, cataracts, and kidney stones.
Yana 1 had low odds of hemoglobin E disease, despite carrying a risk variant for it, very low odds of gout, low odds of eczema, low odds for all types of glaucoma, low odds for age-related macular degeneration, low odds for atrial fibrillation, low odds for deep vein thrombosis, and low odds for cardiovascular issues. Yana 1 was predicted to have lower homocysteine levels. Yana 1 was predicted to have an intermediate odds of obesity and average odds of syncope. Yana 1 had a genotype linked to wet earwax and smellier body odor, which is typical for non-East Asians. Yana 1 carried two hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 gene variants, which lead to reduced ability to process carbs and sugars. Regarding the biomarker predispositions, Yana 1 was predisposed to elevated vitamin D levels, which is good. Yana 1 was predisposed to higher LDL cholesterol and lower HDL cholesterol, which is bad. Yana 1 was predisposed to lower levels of glucose, which is good. Yana 1 was predisposed to average levels of hemoglobin A1c, which is good once again. Yana 1 was predisposed to slightly above average blood pressure. Yana 1 did not have a predisposition to hemochromatosis on the basis of its predicted iron levels. Yana 1 had a predisposition to average levels of sex hormone binding globulin, and Yana 1 had a predisposition to an average red blood cell count. Yana 1 had a predisposition to increased telomere length, which leads to a longer biological lifespan, which is good. And finally, Yana 1 had a predisposition to shorter height. Regarding the blood type of Yana 1, it is very decisively type A. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Useful links will be in the description of the video. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and share.